Morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer this morning. Happy Sabbath. We made it through another week, and we reach a day where hopefully you can gather some peace and comfort as we gather together for Sabbath celebration. Today, as we pray, we're going to prayer, offer a prayer about the security. If I don't get blown away, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for ourselves and our neighbors in the world. We begin with prayers of thankfulness for all that we have received, for all the blessings in our lives. We pray that we will be kept safe and secure. We pray that we find, utilize, and receive the tools that can keep us safe from others and others safe from us. Friends, as we pray today, I invite you to pray for security. I invite you to seek in your prayer guidance for how you can live your life that keeps you and your family safe and secure and for ways that you can contribute to the security of others. Lord, hear us as we pray this day. As part of the prayer for our world, we pray that we each remain sensitive to doing what we can to protect not only ourselves, but each other. Guide the whole world to wise choices and responsible behavior. Guide us to know that we are safe in your care and guide us to know that we are safe forever. Amen. The text for today is a conversation that Jesus was having with his closest friends, his disciples, where he was promising them that he would be with them always. It comes from John 14, verses 15 through 21. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. And on that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Love one another. Care for one another. And be at peace. Happy Sabbath. Shalom.